Hi guys and hi Patrick. Hi Jasmine. Today we would like to share the news that Chris, the digital assistant for car drivers, is now available for iOS. Yes, great news. We're very excited. In this product update we are going to talk about the functions of Chris, which combined make him a must-have app for all car drivers. And at the end there is a surprise for all the viewers because we will talk about a new feature regarding the iOS launch. Do you want to go for a ride? Yeah, let's do that. An overview of all the functions. Absolutely. Hey, Chris. Navigate to work. Did you mean work? Yes. Okay. I'm looking up routes. All right. Let's go. In 1,000 yards, at the roundabout, take the second exit onto Karl Marx Wally. Okay, so this is how navigation works. You just tell it the destination you want to go to, and then, you know, you start driving. Okay, so it's voice-controlled navigation and all the information are on the screen, which means I don't need my phone anymore and it can stay in the pocket. Exactly. It's, uh, the screen is, uh, we call it a glanceable screen because you can sort of uh, briefly look at it and you don't have to really focus. Uh, your phone can stay in your pocket or it can stay uh, here in the car and charge uh, with the Chris charger uh, while you are driving. What else can it do? Of course, uh, Chris can also send uh, WhatsApp messages. Uh, that's a very important feature for, for many people today. So maybe let me just show you that. Hey, Chris, send a WhatsApp to Jasmine. What do you want to say? Test drive in Berlin. OK, sending the WhatsApp test drive in Berlin. Let me check. OK, so it's now sending it. Yeah. Ah, nice. It worked. What else can it do? Yeah, and it can also play music. Um, so, hey Chris, play music. Then you can now uh, use gestures, for example, to skip to the next track or change the volume. Ah, oh, that's cool, I like that. Um, yeah, that's very helpful because you can keep looking forward. Yeah. yeah. Uh, or pause the music. And of course, uh, you can also make calls with Chris. Um, so that's a key function in the car, uh, but here it's also just with, with your voice. So, hey Chris, call Daniel Meeves. Calling Daniel Meeves is mobile. To end this call, make a gesture from left to right. Hey Patrick. Hi Daniel, we're on our way to work. Uh, we should be there shortly. See you. Oh lovely, see you soon. Ciao. Um, what yeah. is the difference to Apple CarPlay or Android Auto? Yeah, the biggest difference, of course, is uh, you don't have to buy a new car. Uh, so that saves you a lot of money right there. Um, the other big difference is Chris is really designed for drivers and for minimizing distraction while you drive. So uh, you never have to touch it. You never have to touch a touch display with, you know, those other solutions. You always have to sort of touch on a touch screen. With Chris, it's all voice enabled and with the gestures you saw. So you can always focus on the road ahead and on the traffic. Yeah, I see. What is coming next? So next up, we are working on a lot of additional features in the navigation. Um, and also, uh, very importantly, we are adding support for voice messages for WhatsApp. Ah, wait, we cannot end without the feature that we promised in the beginning. What is it all about? Oh, yeah. So in the current release, uh, what we have is uh, support for offline maps. So that means for navigation, you can when you're at home, you can download the maps uh, in the Chris app. And then when you navigate, it does not need to connect uh, to the mobile network while you're navigating. And it's really uh, helping your data plan. It's not eating into your data plan like other navigation solutions. That sounds Take good. Cannot wait to test this next time with you. Thank you for all your time and for all the explanations, Patrick. Thank you. Navigation is stopped. Well driven.